reality is that we live in a society that's driven by boredom. <clears throat> and what I mean by that is that... Because... Remember why I said stop saying you're bored? That wasn't just gay self-help advice where I'm like teaching you how to look cute for other boys. That shit is like legit truth, man. You gotta like stop saying you're bored and like stop living that boredom life, which is gonna be really hard because... A lot of times we're bored, not really because we're not entertaining ourselves, but because we're not really producing anything. And truth be told, we're engaging in a lot of activity. A lot of activity is just manufacturing drama. Filling up yourself with television, you know, distracting yourself. You're feeling all those mood switches. You don't really want to, like, get into the plot or shit like that. So you can get on some drugs, some alcohol with your friends. Like, small socialization like that. Because you're not really making anything. You're not really building anything. You don't have any projects or legitimate ids in this society. There are no legit ids. Unless you want to, like, fuck other people over. That's the only id you can make. So we live in a society where it's all about consumerism. Too much consumerism, not enough producerism. We got resources that are being wasted away. GDP is declining. And debt is just like rising for this country. So a lot of niggas want out. A lot of states want out right now. Texas been wanting out. They've been trying to escape this bullshit. Because they know that we're not going on a proper path. Hell, even New York is on this shit. They don't want to get involved. A lot of shit that we, like, do as kids is marketed to us in a different way as adults. As kids, we're given a lot of fun, different things, yet uh, we get Chuck E. Cheese. They get Dave and Buster's, which is basically that, but except with the promise of slutty girls and alcohol. I'm pretty sure that they deliver both. We get a lot of, like, the same stuff we receive as kids. The same emotions that drive us to consume. Nostalgia, as Grog would say. But we receive it as adults with sex and alcohol involved. And a lot of the places that we want to ordinarily go to because of our values, like uh, the military or higher education... We go there because, like, we're told it's the right thing to do and because it's just too boring not to go to college because, like, we go to college, like, usually we want to go, like, when we're 18 or 19 or even 17 if we have a late birthday because, basically, <clears throat> we can't drink yet legally. So, we can't go to those motherfucking bars or those clubs. We could go to them pubs, which is like pseudo bars in terms of the United States. I know that pubs mean bars in like England, Britain, wherever you want to call it. But basically, that's it. Pubs here, like. It's like restaurants that have alcohol, but minors can go because it's really more a restaurant than anything else. But regardless, I know a lot of people don't know that. Because the alcohol scene is limited, that means that sex is also limited. And they kind of go hand in hand because you that's like one of those limiters that actually fucking works. Getting her drunk and shit. Although, that would count as rape in this kind of society. It's kind of stupid. But then again, most things that we are taught to believe are stupid. So, like, it just goes hand in hand, too. So, we got, like, 18, 19, 20, until 21. So, we might as well do something. Let's go to the fucking 
college and binge drink. Yeah, we can, like, yeah, if we're liberals that can't get laid, we can, like, join them liberal arts shits. Which I was definitely not interested in. Definitely not interested in that kind of shit. Yeah, what else am I going to do? Because it's going to be a while until I'm 21. I got to do something. Yeah, I could work. Whatever. See, that's boredom. Boredom exists because sometimes people need to actually produce something. They need to create something to better their lives. And this society, because we're consumerists and not producerists, we really don't have that something to fill that void. So we're getting ourselves entertained. I mean, if you're brought up under religious guidelines, and then maybe you have that. Maybe you have, like, that to keep yourself busy. Although most of the time, that doesn't really help, does it? Because it's kind of covering the problem up, but not really helping it. And sometimes you're better off, like, not covering the problem up so that you can save yourself. That's all it is, basically. How do you save yourself from this boredom? And how do you save yourself from the future collapse that comes from it? Because we're busy just getting into activity that doesn't produce anything. Overworking ourselves, burning ourselves out. Doing absolutely nothing. And then consuming a lot. But not really resting or living a healthy lifestyle. So we end up... We're going to end up attacking shit. We're going to break the system down. And that's just... That's just lame. Does it really have to come to this? I mean, I feel like I'm compensating by making all these videos because I've been gone for a while. But this isn't really activity for me. I'm really legitimately just trying to voice my thoughts out, trying to see if there's someone on the other side that's thinking the same thing, too. I started this politics game off just thinking that all you had to do was end the state. But then again, I could have easily started from the presumption I did that industry also plays a role and commerce. And then both those things are basically have detriments and we're better off without them. Is that true? Is all industry bad and we should get rid of all industry? Is that like a, what about commerce? Do we have like no money at all? So basically no state, no commerce, no money. I guess we can have a simple agrarian society. That would actually be pretty nice. A traditionalist viewpoint. I mean, I called myself an anarcho-primitivist. However, I didn't hold primitivist views. I held uh, traditionalist views. I didn't advocate for a paleolithic lifestyle of hunter-gatherers. I wanted... A little bit of that technology, but more based on agriculture. And I call myself an anarcho-capitalist. Well, when we look at capitalism, we think of it as Randian idealism. When I just really wanted just the market aspect of it. Well, I just wanted a little bit of a surplus. We, we, want, we don't want just want to live a subsistent lifestyle where we're just barely making our needs. I don't want that. I want a little bit of extra just so that I can indulge. We, we should indulge. We just shouldn't, like, uh, kill ourselves. So, of course, boredom, in a way, has driven me to make videos. It's driven me in a time when, basically, I started coming back and making YouTube videos in the summer of 2011. And that was around the time when, other than David dating a few girls, like, besides dating and that lifestyle, or meeting up with some of my friends, playing in a band, I didn't really have a lot to do during the day, or night, so I had to, like, make videos, I had to, like, construct, I was sleeping during the day, doing shit at the night, waking up at 5.30pm, and then... Starting shit at like, uh, 
knocking out at 9 a.m. So that's all I had to fucking do. I didn't have a, a very interesting summer back then. Nowadays, I, was, I try to mix it up. I mean, shit's getting rough, so I gotta live that rough life. I'm older than I was before, so a lot of these YouTube videos came from that state of mind where I was bored. I was living a nocturnal lifestyle, so I had to keep myself in activity in some way because I can't just go out in the hood at night or otherwise I'd get shot. So what I do, I keep saying so and filler words a lot, masking my high vocabulary because I just want you guys to understand this. <clears throat> I became more and more right wing as my YouTube career went on because I realized oh trying to appeal to both doesn't work. I mean there are good leftists out there, but for the most part it's like they're more opinionated. For the most part they're more opinionated. There's cognitive dissonance depending on what you say. And you don't want that cognitive dissonance where they try to like lash out at you. I feel like you get more diverse followers if you just keep right wing appealing to them and then the left wingers that understand like I understand there's room for leftism leftism is good in some ways and not everyone's a complete right winger I'm not a complete right winger Grog likes to say that there's like cognitive dissonance of calling yourself an anti-status it's like a nihilistic destruction of a concept just egalitarian viewpoint yeah that's a little that's a little fucking different. That's a little leftist in a way. We can put it in a right wing perspective, but essentially it is the destruction of a concept. It is nihilism. It is ultimately what the left wants, and that's a deconstruction of an institution, of a social control, making the world less socially controlled. Marxism is the social structures, what libertarianism is the economic ones, in a way. It basically means that, in a way, it's sort of funny, because that basically means that the heuristics are what they're against, but the actual lack of freedom is what libertarians are against. They want they want that freedom, they want that liberty instead of just a lack of heuristics. The destruction of heuristics, the semantics game brought to a political destruction, brought to a political maximum. And, and it's ridiculous. Trying to get the last few statements out. I hate like twisting my fucking head around when I make these videos. I'm not gonna make a flattering appearance. Probably. Definitely not gonna look very flattering because of all these chin ups and stupid shit like that. My neck hurts now. <clears throat> So basically, over the years, I became more right-wing. Like, it was a month-to-month -month basis thing, and I'm starting to realize that it's all brought down to, like, one element. And that element is that, really, society is just too fucking boring, too self-destructive, too suicidal. I don't want to get involved with this kind of shit that's going to happen. We're like beating our meats until we like eventually slaughter each other and it's just not fucking likable. This is the reality of the situation. This is what we have to deal with every fucking day. And it's never going to fucking change ever until the next generation finds the solution. And that's not going to be my generation. I hope it's my generation. I really doubt it. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video and peace.